Hi, this is Raheem Zulfagar Ali, and this video is related to VLOOKUP, and uh, it is based on uh, VLOOKUP returning multiple columns at once. Uh, our management uh, has asked us some uh, questions based on our database, and we have to find out uh, these questions answers on a separate cells uh, given on a database uh, that is related to sales persons and uh, with uh, their sales in the uh, respective months well we look up is uh, great for extracting information from a huge data table based on what you are looking for but what if if you need to extract more than one column information for example uh, let's say you have a uh, salesperson names uh, in the leftmost column and the monthly sales figures uh, in the next columns one for each month now you want to find the total sales made by a uh, given salespersons. Uh, so how do you go about it? So we have uh, three questions here, and we will try to uh, find their answers uh, by applying VLOOKUP and some more functions in it. Uh, first question says that uh, totals find the total sales in the month of Jan, Feb, and March for the person Rahil. So uh, we will create a uh, array formulas here. Uh, and uh, with VLOOKUP and SUM so we will apply first SUM because we f uh, have to find uh, the total sales for the month of Jan, Feb and Mar March uh, for the salesperson of Rahil so uh, we will start like equals to SUM VLOOKUP lookup value will be the salesperson name we will write this in inverted commas that is Rahil then table array is my uh, data uh, which relates starts with the sales persons and uh, the 12 months of uh, sales from B5 till N17 then here in column index num we will write uh, all the numbers of uh, uh, Jan, Feb and March to get the sum and we look up of sales person Rahil so in curly brackets we will write 2 comma 3 comma 4 that is 2 column represent uh, the Jan column and similarly Feb for 3 and uh, 4 for the March we will close the curly brackets here and then comma and we will choose false for the exact match and again round bracket close and we will press control shift and enter key and as soon as we press this we get answer that uh, in for the sale person Rahil uh, he has made a total sales of 68 uh, in three months then we have uh, another question that is we have to find maximum sales of Jahangir so we will start with equals to max uh, max for uh, finding out the maximum uh, number in a month uh, for the salesperson Jahangir so equals to max then we look up we look up value will be the salesperson name that is Jahangir comma table array again my uh, salesperson's data and then now starting from the second that is Jan and we will go till 13th that is the month of December and then we will select false for exact match round bracket close and control shift and enter So the maximum sales of Jahangir in a month uh, that is that is 34 and he sold maximum sales in the month of December. Uh, so we got the 34 answer in uh, second questions. Now the third question relates to uh, we have we have to find average monthly sale for Amir. So for average we have a function of average in Excel equals to average VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP value will be Amir table array will be the source data source of salesperson data and then we have to find all 12 months average so we will again start with 2 false and pressing control shift and enter all together so we got uh, answer of 18.25 is the average monthly sales uh, related to uh, the salesperson Amir. Now uh, we solve these three uh, different situations with uh, VLOOKUP uh, but uh, we have uh, 
added some more function in it that is sum max and average and we get all the answers for these questions now the homework for you is uh, what is you have to find what is the total commission made by danish and uh, the data of danish is given in the sales person data and for commission you have to uh, use the commission rate which is uh, given from the range b9 till till n20 and you have to uh, write your answers then you have uh, again a second question uh, find out the sales uh, of quarterly sales of sales person nurdin nurdin jahangir and rahim and uh, quarters are given quarter first second quarter second quarter third quarter and fourth quarter similarly uh, so ha you have to apply v lookup with uh, some other uh, functions of excel and uh, go ahead solve these uh, questions and uh, write in comments or email us and uh, have a good day thank you